Wow, what an entrance. Okay, this is Throne and Liberty. This is my first look at it. And uh, yeah, I gotta say I'm kind of impressed. I've been big into MMOs since I started gaming, which was unfortunately not that long ago. But uh, yeah, this... Okay, this is a storage guy. <laughs> but off. <gasps> oh. <laughs> okay. He's funny. Oh, I like him. He's great. Anyways, back to what I was saying. This must be the priestess that we have to talk to. Oh my goodness, she's so pretty. The game is gorgeous. I really like the customization, the animation. I mean, the animation. Mm. So far, the the fighting and everything like that, the cinematics is what I meant, not animation look really good. I don't know how this is going to be. This is still open beta and in September, I think the first week of September, it's coming out. Um, it is a free MMO RPG and uh, there is a pay shop, but from what I have looked at, I don't see anything but like skins and stuff like that. This is not, to me, this is not a pay to win, but I could be wrong. Don't hold me to that. But um, yeah, Okay, so I did listen to our, we do need a red flower, we mentioned that we need a red flower for this other quest, uh, but I am going to be talking over it, so I apologize. And those purple things off to the left before I uh, got this cutscene with this guy, those are all like letters and books that we need to find, so if you see all those paper, uh, glowing purple things, paper things, go ahead and uh, pick them up, and they'll be stored in an, in an inventory type thing, like a collection. But I... Yeah, this is really a pretty game, and the cast character customization, you can literally spend hours in. They did a really good job. So this is a game by NCSoft and put out by Amazon. So I don't know if, I don't think NCSoft did New World, but uh, I'm not sure of the relationship and how that all worked, but this is definitely better than New World. Um, there are some things that are a little wonky, but again, this is still, this is the open beta. It spent a lot of time in closed beta and then of course alpha and whatnot. Um, it probably needs some more tweaking. It probably needs some more quests, but the characters look good. The cutscenes are really good. The music's beautiful and oh my goodness. For me as a casual player, this game is stunning and I adore really like it and I can see myself putting some time in this game. Um, I started out with World of Warcraft, um, ended up with New World, ended up on a couple other games and then ended up on Black Desert, which this does remind me a lot of Black Desert, but this also, I, I've not played like Hogwarts Legacy or anything like that, but I am a fan of the Harry Potter movies and this does kind of some at some point give you Harry Potter vibes and I've heard other people say that, so think um, I'm going to say Lord of the Rings and Final Fantasy and Harry Potter all mixed together. Um, and I did see in one of that opening segments, there was a dragon. Now, I don't know. Here, I'm, I'm just trying to get up there and get this thing. Um, I don't know if there are other dragons around. You are your own mount. Uh, you are your own ground mount, your own air mount, and your own water mount. Um, so like in World of Warcraft, druids were the only ones that had their, their own shape-shifting forms. And this one, you got everything. And you don't have to pick a class. You pick the weapons that you want to use. Like if you want to be an assassin, assassin paladin, go for it. You can do it. And I love that you actually go through the doors. It's not like a black cutscene and then you end up... <clears throat> and then you end up in where you're supposed to be. You actually go through the door. It's really cool. So this is the girl that's in danger, that they're protecting with the, the double passwords and the red flower thing. And that's my character. Now your character is not voiced, but they do have like facial expressions and stuff like that for, for some things. And if, this is kind of like New World in the sense that you're afflicted. Well, New World you weren't afflicted. Everybody else was afflicted and died and you survived and you're eternal. This one is a little different where you're kind of afflicted with something that might kill you. And everybody else at the same time. So, um, but it's a really pretty game. And the uh, the tutorial, 
while it was a bit long, it was like 35 minutes to get through all of it, and there was like three different sections, I really kind of liked it. Oh yeah, fast. She's talking about fast travel. Sorry, I had to stop for a second. I was like, what is she talking about? Fast travel. Up oh, there we go. See, they were having a problem. And this little helpy doll. There are different skins that you can get in the premium shop for that. Um, so it is free to play. And you look on Steam, and it'll. Oh, and then you'll. You have this voice that if you you can fast forward through the text, and this voice will catch you up. Sorry, I might as well just be talking over this because I think I am still hearing the last quest recount, recap, and then going over this one, spinning through it. So, apologize for that. But yeah, this is such a super cool game. I'm really excited to see where this goes. Oh, goody. Anyone can use the waypoint. All you have to do is touch it. Try placing your hand on the waypoints in the plaza and at the okay. rye pastures. Afterwards, gotcha. talk to the resistance officer Ashton. He'll explain the rest. He'll explain the rest. Okay. Let's go over to the big purple thing because people are teleporting in and out all the time. And it does give you I, I like that it gives you a recount. If you fast forward through everything, the recount or recap rather. Um will tell you the throne, but his dominion this is some kind of lore legion. however Laslin was freed again by the founder's order led by okay. Captain da Vinci and the da Vinci Laslin allied resistance forces were founded here okay it's so pretty look at that so so pretty and, and it's kind of like wow and at black desert in a sense and I guess pretty much every other MMORPG um, so this is our other waystone that we have to, to activate for the quest. But in that, it, it has zones that, like, this is the level, like, this one through three zone. And it's really pretty. Again, everything is so pretty here. Everything is so pretty. People tried to solve the problem by employing the power of free wizards. But the free wizards' clumsy magic only made things worse. Ooh, their clumsy magic. Oh, my. Let's slide on the free wizards. So, <laughs> follow up again. Teleportation was a rare skill that was only used by a few wizards. Okay. When the wizard play completed the schema for waypoints, it enabled anyone to teleport freely. There's my ground mount. I love my cat. It took me a little bit to get used to it. I'm not the sharpest cookie, the sharpest pencil in the box, but I do try. And it is a fun, like I said, it is a fun little game. And this guy, oh my god. Alright, there's a, a letter or a journal of Laslin, of a Laslin farmer. And it just goes into a collection and you get little magical stuff for it. Okay, he's not talking, but he's, he's basically a coward. He's afraid of everything. And he's the alchemist's assistant or apprentice. Yep. The always gloomy Oliver Tiller, the urban <laughs> gloomy. Oliver has been an apprentice there for some time, though he has yet to gain the approval of his master. The farmers <laughs> pitied the outstanding apprentice, a gifted student who could memorize the names of countless medicinal herbs, but suffered under his eccentric master. He should probably find another profession, I would think. Something that doesn't involve bugs <laughs> and monsters. <laughs> So this is some of the combat, just against some of the NPCs, and I know I'm supposed to be blocking on some things, don't mind me, I just click all the buttons, I don't care. <laughs> so I'm equipped with a greatsword and a bow, like a hunting bow. And you can upgrade these uh, at various uh, keepers, whoops, he aggroed on me, um, in the town, the main town there that I was just in. This is definitely Black Desert vibes for me. <laughs> but um, it's it's really fun. It's not got the quickness of Black Desert, but you don't have to pick anything up. It just automatically...
falls into your bags, which is really cool. And I think, believe your bags are, have like 130 different slots for different things. And that beehive down there, you can, uh, you can break it open and then more bugs come out. That yellow bar to the right of me that's filling up, that's my stamina bar. So when it runs out, sometimes my abilities are on a cooldown and I have to I'm sorry, I'm listening to the thing. These ingredients are highly toxic on their own, but highly effective together. Yes. See, and it just it just brings more more bugs out. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. But you can see the combat for yourself. So I'm finding multiple enemies, basically, and I've got my bow when my sword is on a cooldown, and then when my bow is on a cooldown, I can use my sword. And you can bring more talents down. And you also have passives. I'm not going to go into the whole thing. If you really want to do the, this is a, let's see, the, today is the July 20th. This playtest has been out um, for two, two days, three days. I think it was Thursday or Friday of this week. And it's going to be for like, I think it's five or seven day playtest. And then um, September, I think it's 7th, it comes out in early access. So yeah. If you can, get on the playtest, go through it, see what you think. Um, everybody has their own opinion, of course. I don't expect you to, to agree with me, but uh, give it a fair chance because it is a really cute, fun game. Here's where we get the Harry Potter vibes, too, uh, is with this, this funny little guy. Welcome to Hendrick Farmstead, where we grow up with love from seed to harvest. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, I've just run out of roots. Oh dear. How about collecting as many as you need yourself? Really? Then, then try harvesting the roots from the mandrakes planted out in the field. Uh huh. By the way, mandrakes will turn violent when you try to harvest their roots. No. <gasps> so be careful. They're really, they're going to turn violent. You're going to send me out there. No, is it? It's, no, it's not in these. It's out in the... And you can see, so you see all the little purple icons? Those are your quest objectives. And you can see onto the right how many you need. I was not paying attention when I was doing this. Do you pull it up? Sometimes it'll drop one as it, as it jumps up, but otherwise you just got to fight it. And there's the drop. Like I said, I only played a couple of hours of this, and I've, I've cut it down a lot. But it's a beautiful game. I'm going to say that over and over and over again because I was so shocked how pretty it was. In that sense, it did remind me of Black Desert. It's another Korean-made game. And they do tend to go into really, really pretty graphics. And it has weather in it. Like right now it's raining. And this, what I love is the camera gets wet. And I'm like, really? So it's almost like your glasses are getting wet or something like that. Like, I have glasses. So <laughs> it's almost like your glasses are getting wet. And then that that purple cross that's glowing with a little that's our quest objective so we have to go and it'll tell you how many yards away you are for it which i really like and i think black desert has that as well um so once you take off in my your ground form or whatever uh i love the jumping it jumps forever and you can tell all the other, the other players and there's guilds in this there's dungeons in this i have not done any dungeons i will not be uh in this video, I will not be previewing any dungeons or anything like that. Um, but I just wanted to show off the initial uh, gameplay and the initial uh, questing and stuff like that and how pretty it is and let everybody draw their own conclusion. And uh, yeah, just, I love that you can shapeshift. That to me is hilariously fun. And then see, for shape for flying you have that that stamina bar you cannot ascend if that stamina bar is run out trust me i tried it and there is fall damage in this game too so if you fall from a great height you can uh go splat <laughs> be warned you can go splat 
So there's another waystone. So I've got three of them now. And you can just open your map and click on one. Gigantic lobsters, crabs. A little bit. And there's also treasure boxes that you have to fight that have legs like crabs that are absolutely hilarious. I don't know what I was trying to do. I think I was trying, it wanted me to, I think I clicked F. I was looking for my quest objective, which is uh, around here somewhere. Oh, it was back here. <laughs> there he is. The purple icon over his head, and I just walked right past him. Hey, dude, you got that bait? Or can you make this into bait for me? Excuse me, sir? Hello? Oh, what brings you here? There you go. Huh? These are the ingredients <gasps> needed to make rancid powder. Martin no. Must have sent you. But how did you know about these ingredients? Because uh, somebody told me. It, um, wait, what? <laughs> How long has he been your apprentice? Have to go to to but He's not cut out for this. How, how big is the ant? <laughs> right <gasps> Thank you. With water dripping down his face. <laughs> Oh my goodness. In that case, why don't you try opening your map and teleporting See? to Castleton? That's what I was saying. All you have to do once you have these waypoints open for fast travel is just open your map, click on it, and voila. You can fast travel back instead of running all the way back. And uh, it is so much fun. So there's a chest in the background. <laughs> See there, it, this is Martinet or Castleton, and then there it is. And for level 30 and under, it's free. After that, they start charging you. But I think the level cap right now is 50. So that's not terrible. And you, you, as you kill things, you're gaining money and stuff like that. So, and you can sell if you want. I didn't sell a lot of stuff. Um, I wouldn't recommend selling the weapons that you get initially because you can keep those or uh, upgrade them, I think, if I remember right. And uh, it, uh, I would just keep them just in case you decide to change class. Um, and there's also, I think there's a book, a staff, a wand, um, a crossbow, a hunting bow, uh, a regular sword and shield. And then there is the great sword and there's daggers. So you can mix any of those two together that you wish. Okay, she's doing her little thing. I love the cutscenes in this. It just gives it like such a realistic, uh, what's the, what's the word in, um, I can't think of the word. It just makes you feel like you're you're really part of the game. To me, it does. Some people, some other people might see this and just go, "Oh my God!" Just let me skip past the cutscene. And if I was playing this multiple times, yes, I would be skipping the cutscenes too. But some of them are really pretty, like those two that I put out in the front. It's much more effective. I tried to improve the efficacy. Oh, goody. Okay. All right, all right. I'll take it to her. I'll take it to her. Oh, yes. Thank so oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I'll just stick it right in my bag. Okay. Okay. Where we just were. Oh my gosh, that little <laughs> little helpy doll. Okay, we're going up here. There's a... In that boat right there, there is a purple thingy that I want. 
So I'm going to fly. This is the only way to get into this silly boat. Must have the purple thingy. Even though I don't read them. <laughs> and then you can see our quest objective over there. So we're not going to run along the beach. We're going to swim. I want to try out our swim form, which is this lovely, adorable little creature that you will see in just a moment. There we go. We are an otter with a piece of lettuce or something on our kelp or something on our head. How stinking cute is that? Oh my God. I love it. And you cannot dive though, but you can just swim around like a little otter and jump out of the water. It's super cute, but it does waste your stamina, so beware. And as you can see from that wolf to the left, uh, that is that person's travel form and they have a different skin. I have this beautiful cat. You can change it into a wolf, a deer, God knows what else. Um, maybe not a deer, but a, different kinds of wolves and different kinds of cats. So that is something to look forward to. And there's also a, like a, a Oh, what do they call it? Sort of like Star Wars The Old Republic has, where you have like a a paid, like a VIP thing, sort of. Only in Star Wars, you, you're paying like your monthly, uh, your monthly uh, fee for it. In this one, you're only paying like 500 coins, which is super easy. And then you get all these like weekly gifts and stuff like that. So it's really interesting and Hey, it can't hurt. You also get grapple points all around these places where there's high up, like you'll see in a second. This is, uh, there's a grapple system. So you just hit F and get up there. After you point, like your cursor at it and stuff, it's super cute. I really like this. Of course, sometimes it will throw you off of the thing you're supposed to be jumping onto. So yeah, beware of that. But it's, uh, it's really interesting. Up. Oh. Uh oh, we're in trouble now. We're a bit late. Oh, and why do they have the, the? What is with these masks? That one must have taken Adriana away. Uh, no. Nope. Nope. Like do I? I won't be going home empty-handed after all. Ah, Christmas. <laughs> Kelpie, help me! Or not, Kelpie, helpy. <laughs> it's a helpy, not a Kelpie. <laughs> Oh, oh, she did help me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh no, not Kelpie. She broke the spell but hurt herself. The little rag doll. Of course. What else? <laughs> there would be no game if we didn't. Holy cow. Go. Attack. And those exclamation points over their heads means they've aggroed onto you in case you didn't know that. And I think it's Q to roll, if I remember right. This that defensive move. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> oh, really? Threatening me, are you? You're not going to be a very happy camper. Ha ha. The game does give you sufficient hints and clues. Sometimes I'm a little dopey and don't don't see them and don't read them, but that's okay. So we're going up. Oh, missed this. Oh. I don't know. I don't know why they're looking for you, sweetheart, or anybody else. Okay, so gotta hit the book and then grab the key. Ah, we have the key. We can open the, the chest now. Cool. Got her papers. Janice Carter, someone Adriana had met. Ooh. Janice, 
Recognizing the strength of the star fragment, advised her that the only way to be free from the Archeum was to leave as soon as possible and find a way to control her power. Okay. Sounds like a plan. And this is a cutscene. This is a little different of a cutscene. It's animated. But still really interesting. Archean forces captured Martine, the younger of two twin sisters. By keeping her hostage, they forced the shaman Adriana, who wielded the power of a star fragment, to call forth the rains. As the ritual began, rain cascaded from the sky, accompanied by crashes of thunder. But the Archean forces had altered the ritual. No. Their tampering caused a cursed rain to fall on Maslin. Wherever the rain fell, creatures transformed into violent monsters that attacked people and devastated the farmland. Adriana was shocked to witness what she had done. When the Archean forces turned on the sisters, meaning to kill them now that they had served their purpose. The awe-inspiring power of the star fragment that lay dormant within Adriana flooded out, and their enemies were annihilated in an instant. Okay. A little brutal. In the aftermath, Adriana was beset by unspeakable disfigurations. Swallowed by yeah, it looks like she kind of turned into some of those crustaceans. Okay, good quest, good quest. Okay, I guess we're done with that one. And fly, eagle fly. Here's my stamina bar drops. We'll not make it back to the city this way. I can tell you that. Nope. <laughs> there we go. We're down. Then you can just glide and fall. I'm trying desperately to push up and it's like, no, it won't ascend. Okay, we made it back. Now, just have to return to the girl and turn in that quest. Say the password again. We have to say this password every single time because she's in that much danger. Oh, there's a sound. Oh, dear. Oh, it's you. This, the other sister. Oh. Ah, okay. Okay, so she gave us this. Got to look at it. Her letter that she sent to us. Okay, okay. All right. Well, that's where we're going to leave it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you're so inclined, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.